So last week, Friday, as you all know, I had Tim Black fill in for me because I had oral surgery and I was hopped up on pain meds. So I didn't want to have to worry about editing a video or anything like that. So I had him film and uh, I had my uh, one of my teeth extracted and it was supposed to be a simple procedure, but it was very complicated. So I ended up having to get stitches. It came out in multiple pieces. So I have stitches right now going from my gums down to underneath my tongue. And so it's making it difficult to talk. I also have, uh, I got braces on my teeth as of Monday. And, um, you know, it, it looks a little bit goofy. I don't necessarily care so much about that. But what I do really care about is being able to enunciate properly. And I feel as though if I can't um, actually speak clearly, then it's going to impact the quality of the show. And even though I'm feeling a little bit better and they're not hurting me as much anymore, I still feel as though like I'm a bit lispy and like my S's and my T's are really hard to pronounce. So if you guys do notice that, just know that I'm dealing with braces. And also, uh, I have these bite blocks on the back of my molars and they prevent my molars from actually touching. And this is because, um, so my front teeth don't hit the braces and either chip my teeth or chip off the braces. So this has been horrible because I can't eat any solid foods. The only thing I've been eating really is uh, refried beans with salsa. Uh, I've been eating pancakes and I smother them in syrup that's uh, sugar free so it doesn't taste very good. But I don't want to eat a ton of sugar. And also I've been eating a lot of uh, potato and broccoli soup. And look, <laughs> it's it's tough. Um so that, uh, these bite blocks, they're called turbos, they're actually also hindering me from speaking properly. So I have no idea how much of, much of this will actually show up uh, or be picked up by the microphone. To me, it's it's very conspicuous, but I have no idea how this will come across on camera. So that's why I decided to kind of speak about this separately, because I think that, you know, if th this is something that could potentially impact the quality of the show, then I need to talk about it. You guys probably can't see the braces very well, because I do have wax on them right now, because... I feel like it makes it a little bit easier to talk that way uh, because they're not like cutting, a, not cutting, but rubbing against my lip. So there you have it. You know, um, they'll be on anywhere between 10 to 15 months. And, you you know, it, it sucks, but short term pain for a long term payoff, in my opinion. So it's worth it. Uh, and look, I'm just genuinely excited because I had really bad crowding on my bottom teeth. It was very obvious. Uh, the camera picked up on it. And many people commented on it. And look, I understand. Yes, I should have gotten this done when I was a child, but my parents couldn't afford it. Uh, and now that I'm an adult, I'm getting it done. I wanted to get this done now for years before I started teaching, before I started doing a podcast. But, you know, that isn't the way that things worked out. So, look, hopefully this won't impact the quality of the show. Hopefully it won't impact my speech too much. I Again, I have no idea how this is going to sound on camera. But, you know, just to give you guys a forewarning, if you hear me... Uh, speaking kind of odd, or if you hear me sounding lispy, it's because I'm trying to get used to all this crap in my mouth that I feel like I just want to rip out because it just feels unnatural because it is. But, you know, we're dealing with it, and in the end, I'm really excited about it. So, um, hopefully it won't hinder the quality.